Now, Nick Clegg admitted today that there was absolutely no excuse whatsoever for his party's failure to deal properly with allegations of sexual harassment. It was a report by this programme earlier this year about allegations from several women that the former Lib Dem chief executive, Lord Renard, had sexually harassed them, but the party hadn't dealt with their complaints, that led to the independent report by Helena Morrissey, published today. When a series of women told this programme of allegations that the Liberal Democrat peer Lord Renard had sexually harassed them, but that the party had failed to handle their complaints properly, the Lib Dems ordered an immediate investigation. Today, the businesswoman Nick Clegg appointed to head the inquiry announced her damning conclusions, that the party failed to follow a proper complaints procedure and failed to carry out a formal investigation. The action fell short of what should have been done. There should have been a formal investigation much sooner um, at the time the allegations were made for the sake of everyone concerned, frankly, the accused, the alleged victims and the rest of the party. It makes sobering reading because it shows that uh, stretching <coughs> over a 20-year period, a series of mistakes were made which left a number of women feeling seriously let down. And for that, there's absolutely no excuse the Channel 4 News report earlier this year revealed that several women had complained to senior Lib Dem parliamentarians about unwanted sexual advances from Lord Renard, a man many consider to have been more powerful than successive party leaders. Today, Helena Morrissey's report concluded... Overall, it's clear that formal processes existed but were not followed, largely due to the sensitive nature of the allegations and the position of the person to whom they were directed. The women told us they tried to complain formally to senior party figures. Nobody wanted to make a formal complaint. It very quickly became quite Kafkaesque. You know, um, I was saying, you know, they were saying nobody wants to make a formal complaint. And I was saying, well, I'll make a formal complaint. Ms Morrissey concluded... Where the women say they wanted to make a formal complaint, or in one case did report the alleged incident to their line manager, there appears to have been either a total misunderstanding or, in the latter case, a failure to follow due process. Paul Burstow was the first senior party figure to hear of the women's concerns in 2007, when he was chief whip. Today he apologised for a lapse of judgement, saying he should have asked the women to make a formal complaint. Also in 2007, the women reported their allegations to Jo Swinson, who's now Equalities Minister. Today, she promised to act on the Morrissey report. This is an issue which is across society and does need to be dealt with, and we all need to learn from that within the media, within politics and within business and wider. And Nick Clegg himself was aware of the women's concerns five years ago, an admission that had to be dragged out of him in February by journalists he dismissed as self-appointed detectives. Hi there, it's Cathy Newman here from Channel 4 News, or what you might call a, a self-appointed detective. He left on, on health grounds, but of course the uh, issues that, um, that we, you know, the issues of his inappropriate behaviour were, in were in the background, of course they were. Ms Morrissey concluded he should have carried out a formal investigation. Informal handling of complaints is the recommended initial step, but the serious nature of these allegations and the fact that a number of women had come forward from separate sources warranted a full investigation. One woman who made the original allegations, allegations Lord Renard strenuously denies, told me today's report was half a step forward and that she was pleased in future complaints would be dealt with properly by the party. But another asked why, although senior figures from the party leader down knew of concerns about Lord Renard, none today are shouldering the ultimate responsibility for the failure to investigate fully at the time.